In this video, I want to show you how to use a massage stick. This is a Thai massage stick and don't let this small size fool you. It is mighty and powerful and very effective both for self-care, if you're a massage therapist, also for treating your clients in wonderful therapeutic ways that save your thumbs and that are incredibly effective for giving massage. So to begin with, I want to talk about the stick itself and then we'll talk about some of the different ways you can use it, and then we'll jump right in to a little demo and some ways that you can actually use the stick right away. So here is the massage stick, and whether you have this massage stick or similar ones, they're all fairly similar in that there is a wider side to the stick, there is a narrower side to the stick, there is the side of the stick, the head of the stick, and the tail of the stick, and then there is the center part of the stick and all the different bumps that you see on a stick, the side, even the underside, the top, the bottom, and all of the different sides and parts of the stick are incredibly effective to help in your treatment, to help release fascia, to help release all kinds of tension in the body. When I use the stick, my approach with it, first of all, is to think of the stick as an extension of my thumb and really, that's what it is. So one of the ways that I recommend therapists or anyone who wants to use a stick on their clients is to actually use it on yourself, you know, because when you first hold it or when you first use it, it may feel a little bit foreign. I mean, of course, it's not your actual thumb. So feeling sensations and feeling knots and tension on the body may feel a little bit foreign at the beginning. So if you use it on yourself, though, you become more and more comfortable with it. And then of course, you also have the benefits of treating yourself at the same time. And my approach with using the stick is actually my approach with anything that I do in massage and teach in time massage, which it all starts with one core principle, one core sentence, which is how slow can you go? How high can you fly? And what that means is to ease in with your pressure and just ease into the area of attention as needed and then towards the end of working that area then maybe you explore depth or you explore more pressure and you meet the area and you meet the needs really to what it needs doing it that way allows the area allows the muscles to relax to become more supple to be more receptive to the treatment and then allows for i believe you know much better results and at the same time helps you as the giver to really just take ultimate care of your body. So how do we do that? How do we actually turn that into practical approach? Well, if I were to use my forearm, which is actually the area that we're going to focus on, what I like to do is start by circling my way in. So I always start with circular movements and I keep the pressure really light, close to the surface, just under the skin at that fascial depth and I explore it and I feel it and I wait for essentially permission from the body to say, okay, that feels good. Now let's see if we can go a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. And I love the swirls and the circular movements first to relax into it. And then if I feel like there's a good point that I wanna press into, then I'll do that as well and hold it and release and repeat. And so having more of those pauses so when you hold it for just a second or two that would be lighter than holding it for five or ten seconds so eventually i may hold points for an extended amount of time but i really like to start by holding it for shorter amount of times to give the body time to respond to that to really melt into it and then move further into depth and into that more therapeutic effect you may have noticed when I did that little demo, I used the top of the stick. So the top of the stick and the side near the top is lighter than the tail of the stick or the pointier part of the stick. So similarly, I'm going to start on the top or using the top of the stick before I go with the tail of the stick as well. But if I want to have a more therapeutic effect, in all likelihood, if I find like a really good spot that needs more attention, I'm going to use both parts of the stick as I go. So what are some of my absolute favorite parts of the body to use to give the massage? Well, when I'm doing self-care and self-treatment, my favorite parts include the side of my neck, my jaw, forearm, hand, 
and that whole thumb area as well. Today, what I want to talk about is forearm and hand and thumb because this is an area of our body as massage therapists that we use a lot and definitely require that self-care. And also what I will say is that I literally keep a massage stick with me everywhere I go. One of my favorite times to use it for self-care would be in a car when I'm driving. If I come to a red light and I have a minute or two to stop and do something, I will give myself a little bit of a massage. My preferred way to self-treat is actually to give short sessions several times a day. So literally, if I have an ache, if I have a real issue going into my body, if I've got any kind of wrist or hand pain from giving a massage, which I know can happen with a lot of massage therapists, I would advise them give themselves literally five massages a day, each one being one to two minutes at a time. You'd be amazed how much dead time we have in our day, how many opportunities there are while you're in a car, while you're waiting for a meal, when you're working at your desk and you want to give yourself a little break, even in between sessions where you can just do a couple of minutes and it's, it, it, it is a game changer in the ways that it really helps to heal and prevent injuries. If you have a table, one way to position your arm and your hand would be to rest it on a table. And if you don't have a table, which I don't right now, Another way to do it is you put it right up against your body. So you have that flat surface and you keep your elbows in. If you have your elbows winging out, then you're gonna use your pecs and all these other muscles of your arms and more than you need to really. So if you keep the arm that you wanna treat in close to your body, the other arm also in close to your body and you have movement with your body, then you're gonna really help to use your whole body and everything comes from your core as you treat yourself. So if I'm treating my forearm, starting with the head of the stick, let me find a spot. Let me just hold the stick, like almost as if I was going to press or stab in that kind of motion. Let me feel for a spot with really light pressure and then just make my circles. A few circles, maybe in both directions and then lean into it and hold and release and hold and release. So these first pauses are lighter and for only a couple of seconds at a time. And then I may feel, oh, okay, things have melted at the fascial depth close to the surface. So maybe I can swirl a little deeper into my muscles here and then I can hold it a little longer. Ah, feels so good. And then I can take the side of my stick, make some circles, there. Oh yeah, that gets into it in a whole different way. And it really helps me to get more precise, finding those trigger points and finding those issues that may be going on and then hold it. Or maybe even go back to my first position and hold it. And if it's a really deep spot or a spot that I think needs extra attention, I'll go to the other side of the stick, the tail side of the stick and get in there. And it's really just that simple. With a smart approach, you can do all these amazing things. Oh yeah, right there, that's a great spot. So circle my way in, sink in and hold. All these amazing things to prevent injuries and then to treat any discomforts and pains and injuries that may be going on in your body. And that will prolong your career and just make giving the, your massage that much more of a pleasure. If you're doing it with your palm of your hand, I mean, it's very similar. Put your hand flat on a surface and then start to circle your way in. That would be easier to do the back of my hand if it's on my body against my chest. And actually, I love to use the tail side. You know, there's all these strands on the back of the hand that sometimes get tired, at least in my hands, from just life and giving massage and texting and driving and all of those things. So I may use the point to draw lines, to find little points of pain, which right now I actually don't have any, and then hold, and then maybe move just an inch one way or another and then find another spot. So for the inside of the hand, I can't put it against my chest. If I had a pillow, I'll get a pillow. So here, I'm putting my hand on a pillow 
turn it up, and then essentially repeat and do the same thing. And definitely the joint near the thumb is a great way or a great place to find areas of need, but you can find places everywhere in the center of the hand as well. So just to recap, most important thing is to think of the stick as an extension of your thumb. It is essentially like having a much stronger, durable, long lasting thumb that you can use to get into all the different points that you could imagine in your body and then in your client's bodies as well. So in the second half of this video, that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to shift locations a little bit, go to the massage table and show you this amazing neck massage. So when I use a massage stick on my clients, I love to use it for foot massage, for the arm and hand massage that I just showed for self massage. I love to do similar things on the client, on my clients. I love to massage the triceps, and the biceps and the jaw. But today I want to focus on an amazing neck massage because I feel like it's probably the number one place. If we're going to start somewhere, let's start with the neck. In fact, just as I was making this video earlier today, I got these text messages from a client of mine that I saw about a month ago wanting or just reaching out to express how she's still enjoying the benefits of the massage that I gave her that changed dramatically just how much more mobility that she can and range of motion that she has in her neck after uh, an accident that she had 18 months ago and literally wanted me to travel down to see her in Los Angeles to continue treating her. So let's look at this. So starting with turning my client to the side, when I give a neck massage, I'm going to start with my fingers, sliding my hand under the back of the shoulder, making a few circles there. And a nice traction for the neck, shoulder, and head. And then continuing either with my thumb or fingers to make circles along the side of the neck. My pressure is light. I love to make these circular motions and look for places of tension, little nodules or areas of tightness all along this area. And let's say I find one here in the middle. With my fingers, it's like I've tested, I've experimented, and I've started a treatment. And then I'm going to continue with my stick. So I like to start with rolling and using the center of the stick to make some circles. It's like broad strokes to help soften that area. And then heading to the top of the stick I'm going to make my circles and sink in. Circles and sink in. I might go to the side near the top, explore there. And as I mentioned with the self-care, I like to start with the top it's softer and it's going to help learn about the area that I'm massaging as well. And then going with the side allows me to be a little bit more precise to get into those areas to help break up tension, knots, and promote circulation in that area. And so neck massage for me is a massage that's all about listening patience, slowing down, and then having the right tools to really explore. So here's another area that to me feels 
like it can use a little help. So I found it with the side of my stick, but I'm going to go in the top, circling, sinking in, and then as I feel things melting, I'm going to go in more with the side of the stick. And if it feels appropriate, I'll go to the other side of the stick and see if there are some places to go in with this point. I do you like to slide down different strands of muscles once things have softened up a lot? do all of this work in an extensive way all around the side of the neck and then I'm going to come back with my fingers to feel it out as well. Maybe even with the side of my knuckles. I love to use the side of my knuckles at different times. Get in there. Traction. And in so doing, if I notice that there's another point or two that I want to give some attention to, then I'll come back to my stick work. Lengthening, softening, melting. And one last area that is related, that I think also contributes to a lot of the tension that we have in our neck would be on the upper chest. So again, I can start with fingers making circles or knuckles sinking in. And then I can take my stick and again, if there's a, a couple of spots, save my hands, use the stick, and explore. When I'm done everything, I love to softly finish it up. This is what I call sweeping, forage. Nice gentle touch, finishing up the neck massage. So if you are interested in training your staff or in learning for yourself therapeutic ways to use the massage stick for self-care or for therapeutic massages, then please reach out to me. Here is my email address and we can take it from there. I teach online as well as in-person courses, whether it's in self-massage or hands-on different ways of giving Thai massage. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you real soon.